Alright, there's that intro video that I was expecting to see last night. Hey everybody, this is Falcon Wing here with another episode in our Let's Play of Pokemon Moon here for Bulba Garden, the original Pokemon community. And once again, I am joined by... Hey everybody, I'm Shiny Flareon, and uh, let's get this show on the road. So, just kind of giving you guys a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an understanding here. We recorded the first episode at 1 in the morning, like right after we had gotten the game. And we started rendering the first episode at about a quarter to 2. And we were going to launch into recording episode 2 and maybe a few more, but I had to get up at 5 in the morning for work. And, yeah, so it's now, what, 15 hours later and we're finally getting to record episode 2. So we're just going to marathon through this and we're going to be doing a whole bunch of episodes back to back. So if you leave any comments for us in the description in the comments section, not the description. If you leave any comments for us, just understand that it's going to be a few episodes before we see anything, before we make any adjustments. But I promise you, we are reading comments. We are accepting feedback. So please let us know going forward if there's anything we need to change. We're actually making a backlog. <laughs> well, that's the, more, that's the right way to do it. Now, before we begin with this, I was reminded today that we have a mystery gift to download. And I'm uh, guessing it's, it's via, via the internet. internet. It usually is. Zero out of a hundred. Zero out of a hundred what? Actually, oh, okay. I was, I was about to say, wait, is it telling me how many? Okay, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I was wondering if it was telling me whether or not uh, there was like a limit to how many gifts you could add. It was up to a hundred. I thought that was a little ridiculous. Okay, that's a bit of a nice, if, nice little animation. Uh, now, I don't want to use him on our team, because I want to prioritize the new Gen 7 Pokemon. Fair enough. But, yeah. just so you guys know, there is a Munchlax and a Storlium Z out there on Mystery Gift. Just do what we did and download him. It's, you know, super easy. And, if I'm remembering correctly, this Munchlax actually has some pretty unique moves. I honestly, um, have not taken a good look at it. I... If, if I'm remembering correctly from what I've seen of announcements for this mystery gift, this Snorlax, or this Munchlax is going to know the moves. Um, it's going to know Happy Hour, which is a move that was introduced in... Oh, oh well, we could get more into that later because yeah. we got story progress. Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle! I'm all for this, I've been wanting to battle for like 15 hours. Ah, <laughs> where's the fire, boy? What kind of a Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? I have a vacant expression. Yeah. Fair enough, then I'm Hao, and my partner's Poplio! Poplio! I do like Poplio. Poplio's adorable. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. Oh, that's, that's all right. That's the wrong voice. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. Thanks. Of course he likes Pokemon. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, so let's battle. Wait, who's doing the voices here? I don't know. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iki Town, so I've been all over looking for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Lily, As you... opposed to Pokemon battles... Uh, as opposed to... Normal battles where Pokemon get hurt? I don't know. Lily's in the wrong world, okay? I, I, I constantly have to remind people that Pokemon are naturally aggressive. I mean, oh, right. I keep hitting the D-pad because I'm so used to using that. Yeah, I'm not going to lose. This is going to be great. Yeah, I'm so used to using the D-pad to move around. Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin! I know that we've been able to use a circle pad to move around throughout all of 6th gen, but I started in gen 2. All we had was the D-pad and old habits die hard. Back in my day! <laughs> it's, just, it's just something I'm going to have to get used to. It's like how when uh, they changed how the box system worked in Auras, I kept still cycling down to move boxes or whatever it ended up being. Anyway. So, first battle. Uh, I wonder what move we're going to use. Now, now, we are, we, uh, we don't know about the, the type chart yet, at least in-game. Well, I, I would assume that anybody who lived in the Pokemon world has a basic understanding of the type matchups. But we haven't... How, how actually, do you know? Actually, I... hold on. Um, 
it doesn't have the, that information on here yet. No, you have to finish the battle. Oh, right. I suppose we should mention that since I had to work today and Shiny Flareon did not, she uh, played ahead in her own copy of Pokemon Sun. Well, what was I supposed to do when, you know, I was staying up and keeping an eye on the rendering and the uploading and making sure the computer didn't explode? Details. I and saw sunrise in this game for you. You're a part of this too. Oh, oh hold hey, on. why? It's worth to level six. Okay, so that's the Pokemon refresh thing, right? That is. Okay, I've never used this, so let's see what happens. hoo You received a hundred bucks. Which is about a dollar, by the way. Eh, details. All right, so as you can see, little Edgeworth is dripping wet. Water all in his feathers. It's just not a good time. Oh, so that's what the cafe is for. Sorry, I just... I just caught that as I was going through that the cafe and the Pokemon centers for getting Poke Beans. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, I was asking in the demo, what is this thing for? And now we know. And now we know. And we can groom our Pokemon after certain battles. We can comb out their fur or their feathers. We can dry them off if they're dirty. We can, uh, we can wipe them down if they're dirty. We can dry them off if they're wet. So... Uh, no, the towel is actually for wiping off dirt. If you actually click on it, yeah. Okay. So you have to uh, hold it over the drops. Oh, okay. And the drops will eventually go and disappear. I thought it was like a move around slide AOE kind of deal. Yeah, I did too. It, that took me a little bit to figure out. Do we um, have any beans? We do have beans. Here. We have seven beans of uh, one of every color. Seven beans of every color. And uh, I'm assuming you can still scratch them, right? Yep. He likes his little bow tie. Oh, yeah, he does. That that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll mess around. Oh, you can switch him in mode 2 now, which is nice. Yeah, which is nice. Okay. Well, I'll mess around with that a little bit later. Because um, I don't want to spend too much time focusing on all the extra modes. When I haven't even really gotten to experience, like, the core Pokemon gameplay. Like, we just had our first battle, and it's the beginning of the of the second episode. Ooh Five minutes in. That gave me chicken skin. Oh, uh, that it got a laugh out of a lot of people. Austin, right? Your rally was awesome. And that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Hmm? Austin. My backpack randomly glows. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Did I, like tie it to my backpack or something? Mm, maybe it was in a side pocket? One of those little mesh water bottle pockets? Hmm. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Austin? That is correct. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Austin, because this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Fred not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Cool, I wasn't using it anyway. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. I am intrigued. Do tell. First, I'll make sure you get home, back home safe today though, Austin. That, too many prepositions in there. Lily, you two should come with us too, yeah? Wouldn't want you to go losing you twice in one day, you or that precious Pokemon of yours. There is a lot of dialogue here at the beginning of the game. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with it. Oh. Pew. Oh, you. Would you not try to escape the very moment you were told not to wander off? I still don't know what that thing is. I, I, I probably should have gone to double check today, but... I'm pretty sure it was officially revealed at some point. I don't know. I... Again, I checked out of official reveals and everything about three weeks ago. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? I just, I wanted Don't this to be waiting. as, I wanted this to be as blind as possible, and you are adorable, Edgeworth. Yes, you are. Also, really tiny. Yeah. Are, are, is this actually to scale? I would hope so. So, why did you choose this sweetheart? Um, because well, we, we had... just said why we did. Well, because... we, we chose him because we had a bunch of people on Twitter who said, you should totally choose Rowlet. Because he's adorable. He is adorable. Well, then you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. Okay, don't ask us for a choice and then say, oh, both were fine. 
Eh. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. I've seen enough uh, Sylvester the cat to know how this is gonna go. <laughs> There's a reference for you. I told I told a pretty cat. The next day. This game still feels very weird. This is not a standard. What a stunning sunset. All right, today's the f day that I finally unpack. Uh, if it's sunset, then you've already kind of wasted the day. Everything's in reverse. Anyway, yeah, this is very non-standard for, uh, for a Pokemon game. I I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Okay, people, just stop letting yourself... Okay, it's, it's, it's Kukui, it's fine. He's already established that this is what he does. Hey there, Austin. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? First, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all, I've got to show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Isn't that what you said yesterday? Yeah, that... I didn't see a change. Okay, so... Let's let's get to it. Now, Route 1 is... Yeah, okay, it's right over there. That's what I thought. Austin, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. This guy is a really big thing for Pokemon moves. Well, yeah, it's what he studies. Um, so, actually, um, do I remember correctly that the uh, Pokedex has a, um, a, a map that it shows on the bottom now? I don't think so. I like this Dex. It actually looks really nice. Okay, so we have a Dex, but you'll notice that something seems to be missing from it. What's missing from it? I'm I'm not following. So when we got our Dex, it looked a little plain, don't you think? Oh yeah, I mean it doesn't have Rotom in it yet. Yeah. But I figured that was gonna be something later. Rotom will oh, give us our map. Hold on. Options. Yeah, tech speed fast, please. Party box. You can choose the destination you send a Pokemon to, huh. as opposed to just it automatically going to the box. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? Sure, let's leave it on manual, because I remember that's a new feature. Sorry, I, I don't want to mess around with the options too much, but I had to change the tech speed. I'm sorry, there's just so much dialogue, I should have changed that back during the first episode. Oh boy, the catching tutorial. Hey, do you remember back in Crystal when you could opt out of this? Yeah, but you still couldn't really. At least it didn't feel like it. Okay, so am I actually going to get to catch something in here? Because at least if it was... If it was a tutorial in which they just guided me through it, that would be something. Also, how have we not seen Rockruff in our decks? Like, I've talked to two of them now. I don't know, but... Like, you mentioned you were having difficulty finding a wild Rockruff. Yeah, I cannot find a Rockruff, and it makes me really sad, because I also really want to use a Rockruff. I think Rockruff is going to be a huge standout in this generation. I I think so, too, and I have not been able to find one. And 50 Pokeballs show off. Look at this guy thinking he's all super rich and hot and special with his shirtlessness, and I'm just going to stop right there. And those uh, surfboard abs. I still love you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, do you mind if I just kind of mash through this? Like, I Go guess... Go rest up at home, or I, you could use some potions. I, I guess if you guys... Here are some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. I guess if you guys want to pause and, you know, read through the catching tutorial, you can, but... I, I'm gonna be honest here. I've, I've gone through this dozens of times. I'm, I'm fine. Why don't you have your, a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah? Take good care of Austin, Rowlet. Kind of wish that he would refer to him by his nickname. Yeah. Okay, so. We have balls. No comment. Um, so, we have Edgeworth. We are going to add to this team. Alright? And I don't know what I'm going to get, but I'm going to walk through this grass 
And our first Pokemon, the one that's going to join our team, it is going to be a Pinky, a Pinky Peck. Peck. Now, I'm going to try and capture every new 7th Gen Pokemon. Every one that I am able to catch, I'm going to catch. Including Alolan forms. A including Alolan forms. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tackle. Actually, uh, if I recall from the demo, Picky Peck is really defensive. It's like, it's, uh, maybe not, it's not really defensive, but it was like really strong. It had a pretty high defense, but um, Leafage is going to be not very effective because it's a flying type. Yeah. And Tackle is perfectly serviceable, especially if it's going to keep growling at you. Okay, it, you know, it's down to about a third. It's only level three. Yeah, I, but you're at minus two. You could probably afford another Tackle. Uh, I've got ten Pokeballs for free. I might as well use them. I don't know. I, I don't expect it's going to be that difficult, right? Right? Okay, I there we go. Not. Actually, I want to bring something up. So I've been talking with people on Reddit and on Twitter today about the new Bulba Handbook that we launched uh, yesterday when, uh, with the games. And I've been asked about the Pokedex and it displaying uh, locations for catching Pokemon. Well, one of the things that I have been told is that each patch of grass on each route has a different uh, has a different catch rate. Or not so much catch rate, but it has different encounters. Uh, at a different rate of encounter. So even on the same route, you might be more likely to find Peaky Peck in one patch of grass or a Young Goose in another patch. Uh... Um, what are we going to name this little Peaky Peck, speaking of which? Hmm... I had not considered this. Well, it's a girl Peaky Peck. Yes. Uh, I suppose we could do the pro Jared way. No, actually, you know what? Whenever I'm in doubt, I just go with um, the first name that kind of pops in my head that seems relatively related, and I loved Animorphs as a kid. There we go. I'm very much okay with this. Not that I liked Cassie a lot, but that's a controversial topic for another video that will not be on this channel. We just totally dated ourselves. Yes, yes, we did. I'm going to try and see if I can encounter something else. Let's see. What's it going to be? A young goose. Ah. I don't know if I'm actually going to use you very much, but, you know, you might surprise me. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty fond of the, uh, of the common mons. Yeah, actually, I am too. My first ever shiny that I got in, uh, in 6th gen was day one in Y version, and it was a shiny centret. That's right, I remember. And I was so happy with that, because that was the first natural shiny I have ever found. And I know that they changed the shiny, uh, system in 6th gen uh, around a little bit. But I was, I didn't know that at the time, but I was just so super happy. Like, I just freaked out. Why am I doing that? I can hit Y. Yes, you I'm can. I'm so used to just having to go to the bag. That's a great change. And I really hope they don't remove that. And I know I've said that a couple times now, but Game Freak does have a habit of taking features that they include and then removing them later. And I don't like that. We caught Young Goose. Yes, we did. What are we going to name him? Not what everybody is thinking of. Please do not. Yes. Actually, if it's a guy, I know what I'm going to call it. Oh? It, well, it is a guy. I like how flashy the Dex is. Like, it might be a little much, but at the same time, I kind of like it. Yes, I want to. Okay, now here's the thing. Young Goose and uh, Gumshoes are based off Private Detectives, right? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to use... Looker's Japanese name. There we go. Since we'd already used an Ace Attorney reference, and it oh. might not be as, oh, uh, okay. it might what not is, be considered appropriate. Uh, brush? Um, the comb. And a 50-50 shot. Yeah. It can be a little weird sometimes. Okay, I already like this more than Pokemon and me, because this feels a little bit more natural. Like, it prompts you and says, hey, your Pokemon's dirty, you should clean them up. And here, why don't you have another bean? I'm just going to spoil you rotten. You are going to be the most spoiled Rowlet ever. Do a little dance. All right. There, I remember when the starters were first announced, we had, you know, the video, and it showed all the little uh, animations of them standing on the platform, and somebody made a gif of Rowlet spinning around on the little platform and set it to and set it to loop 
to the music of You Spin Me Right Round. And now that's all I can ever think of whenever I see Rowlet doing his little spin. Actually, do we have any healing items? We do have a potion. We do have, we have five potions. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to use one. I want to try out our picky pack. All right. Because it's a level two young goose. It should be fine, right? Should be. Oh yeah, that did nothing. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, I have to get used to this. I, also, it's a touch screen, so why am I not just using that? I don't know. That's a very good question. Also, I keep facing away from the mic, and I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's picking it up weird. I guess we'll find out when we go through editing. I suppose. I mean, if you Ooh, that to... did more than I expected. Well, you're also only a level three picky pick, so... Uh, let's just see how much this, do this does. I don't think he's gonna KO me on the next one, so... I doubt it. I okay. suppose if we really need to, um... Okay, I can take another one. I, I suppose if we really need to, if it becomes too much of a problem that you're facing away from the mic, is I could uh, take over the actual playing, and then that way we can both uh, be facing the mic and still see what's going on. Yeah, I suppose. All right, yeah, let's um, let's uh, try let's, out our picky pack in here. Let's groom Cassie. Aww. You are cute. You are cute. I'm actually really happy with Picky Peck, but I think part of that is just because I uh, I already called that Picky Peck was gonna evolve into a toucan, and I've already had that one spoiled for me. So sorry to people watching, but I I already heard Aww. that. Oh, you're adorable. You are cute. But, yeah, you definitely like your crest uh, rubbed. Um. But yeah, so I already had that one spoiled for me, but I was actually pretty okay with that because I had expected that it was going to evolve into a toucan because of that one t-shirt we saw, and I did a whole video on it, and I was just, I was kind of personally proud of that one. Yeah. So, uh, shall we make our way down Route uh -huh. 1? Kept hitting B, and it wasn't doing anything. I was like, oh, right. Actually, we should probably go back home and, uh, heal up. Okay, so I have to wonder, um... The cries that you're hearing in the background, do those actually, like, mean anything? Because I want to say they do. Like, it seems like they should. I would hope so. Um, We're not going to abuse this too much, guys, but... No. And if we have to, we'll cut, but we really don't want to. No, I, I don't want to do any cuts in this at all. Because, again, I am, I am acting like a seven-year-old here. I am just trying to go and experience this as something fresh and new. Like, I've been looking forward to this all day. Well, we also don't uh, really want to uh, take too long yeah, and no. keep our viewers waiting. Well, yeah, there's that. Don't want to annoy anybody. But, you know, I, I also kind of want to explore this and see if uh, there's anything in here worth, like, okay, a Caterpie! Um, I'm not going to catch you right now. Do we maybe want to switch Edgeworth out, out from the front and give uh, Cassie or Handsome a chance to shine? You know, let's, let's prioritize Cassie right now because I'm a little more interested in using Picky Peck. Like, I'm sure that I'm sure that uh, Young Goose and Gumshoes are fine in their own right, but I don't know. Picky Peck just it speaks to me a little more. And uh, what does Picky Peck say to you? Chirp, chirp. The bird is the word. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't speak bird. Well, In fact, that's your own fault. I mean, flying types aren't even really. Despite my name, despite me being called Falcon Wing, flying types are not in my top five ty uh, favorite types. Does this come up super often? It does, actually. Hmm. But I don't it know also I means that you raise affection really quickly. So. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna use it all the time. I'll have to I'll have to get a feel for it, cause I I guess I just um, is that supposed to be like the uh, the string shot? Um, I guess in this particular case, yeah. It's kind of just the generic model for hey, your Pokemon is dirty. You should comb them. You are ridiculously cute, though. Uh. Yeah, you let's give you a yellow bean. Yeah, you don't have to give him a bean every time. Oh, um. Go and check their natures and things. Oh, I completely forgot to do that. That is a good point. You know, I because that'll also affect what kind of beans they like. Wait, so it actually makes a difference this time? Because in Gen Six, it didn't make a difference at all. Well, no, it it 
I apologize. It doesn't affect what kind Plus of Plus speed being... minus special defense, which means naive. Naive. Not bad. Good perseverance. I don't remember what good perseverance uh, comes out to. Um, I forget either. I think it's like HP or defense or something. Okay. But um, yeah, like, okay, yeah. Look at that attack. Like, it's already, uh, it's already pretty strong. Like, it's just slightly behind Rowlet. And, uh, yeah, Young Goose is just kind of all around average. Well, let's, let's take a closer look at, uh, Handsome. Oh, it's got yep. strong jaw. Oh, okay, well, that's fine, but, and, um, he's um, sassy. Sassy and mischievous, so he's gonna be a little troublemaker. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess special defense up is okay, but minus speed always hurts. No, don't, don't okay, get Okay, no, sorry, hard. sorry, you're right. Into that. You're right, you're right. We have a young goose who's going to be, uh, quite the little troublemaker. Okay, oh. so I think this is our first trainer battle, so we'll probably have this, and then we'll call it. Like, we haven't... I know we haven't made a whole lot of progress. We haven't made, like, any progress. I know, but I, I'm still trying to get a feel for things. I'm still... Oh, I forgot to switch them out again. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I'll try and... I'll try and do that between episodes. Yeah. Youngster Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Youngster Jimmy has a Rattata. Oh. Youngster yeah. Jimmy has an Alolan Rattata. Oh. For a second, I completely <laughs> forgot about Alolan Rattata. Yeah. You, you did a video on Alolan Rattata. Yeah. Uh... You know what? Let's try out Handsome. Because he hasn't gotten any attention, and I, I do owe him an apology there for that little comment I made. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to be very good. Not if he keeps taking attacks like that. Well, you also switched him in. I know, but that was... He's also the same level, and this is a trainer battle where the Pokemon are going to be a little bit stronger. So, there is that. Uh, Cassie tank it? Actually, Cassie's not going to be able to tank it because they have, what, the exact same defense? But you are a lot stronger, so this should actually be a KO because stab, higher attack. Rattata's not that bulky. This should be, this should be a KO. This is not a KO. Well, never mind. I don't know anything. You I can... have no faith in your Pokemon. How can you call yourself a trainer? I will endeavor to be better. This is why I'm here. I will battle every day to find my rightful place. And groom your Pokemon in the process. Yes. Actually, this, this seems like it's pretty easy to do right in between matches. Yeah, it really is. It really doesn't slow things down too much. And you don't even have to do anything else, feed it any beans or anything, so... Nope. Guy, give it a head rub. Cassie did good. And Handsome did good as well. You're right, you're right. Okay, so we're coming up on the, about 26 minutes here, and I think that that's going to be a decent length for this. Before we go, I am going to switch them out so that uh, Handsome is in the front. We also oh. have not made, like, any progress. Well, we're gonna make more progress. It's, like I said, it's really, it's really dialogue-y at the beginning. I, so. kn I know, but we're only on Route 1. Like, let's at least get to this festival that they keep talking about. Okay, it's, I mean, it's gonna make these uh, go on a little bit longer. As the series goes on, we can afford shorter and shorter episodes, but I think for now, you know, as you mentioned, it took us like half an hour just to get our starter. That's true. We do, we do, I, I do want to get to more of the gameplay. Yeah. So, okay, that's fair. And we shouldn't have any difficulty here. It's a Caterpie. I have ultimate faith. Here, let's do a Leer. Let's stare down this Caterpie. That did more than I expected it to. It did three damage. Yeah, but I have, what, nine? You also sent Handsome out at, like, half health. I believe in him. He is quite handsome. Who knows? He might end, he might end up being, like, a dark horse or something. I don't know. Look at that award-winning smile. Look at all that string that he's getting uh, doused in that I'm going to have to clean up afterwards. I can see, though, what uh, what some people have said about how it feels like the Pokemon are a little bit more involved this time. Like, they're a little bit more connected to everything. Yeah. And see, he gained a level. Nice job, bud. And I did not get a prompt for that. 
I just skipped through her line. I'm sorry for skipping through your line here. Let me talk to you again. Oh. Wow. You might want to use a potion. I got a Pokeball. You, you might want to use a potion on Handsome. All right, I will. Before we end, I will use a potion. Even though, probably could have waited a little bit. Anyway. Also, I'm a little interested what's in this patch of grass. See if it's a little bit different than the others. Because it, it might be. I don't know yet. I haven't experimented with this. But let's, we can always come back. Let's try and make a little bit of progress. Oh, well, I guess the game said, nope, we are going to, uh, we're going to encounter something. It's, it's another, another pick. pick, pick. Okay. I'm sorry. I just, I, I want to make progress, but at the same time, I'm, I kind of just want to run around and, like, this is what happened with me with the Dex Nav and Oris, is I spent the first three hours just kind of running around trying to fill it up. There are interesting things to find, and we will find them, but I feel like we should at least get to well, the Well, the festival. village is up here, isn't it? No, it's a little further down. Good advice. Always solid advice. Okay, let's... Never mind. Never mind. And it's oh. a ladybug. Mm, again, not really gonna catch this one. Maybe on a subsequent run through, I might, just because Ladybug's always been one of those Pokemon that I've been curious about, but have never actually used. As somebody who started out with Pokemon Silver, I have never been impressed with Ladybug. Well, I started out with Pokemon Yellow, so. I mean, okay, I guess if you want to get technical, I started out with Pokemon Red, but we never got past Brock, and we kept resetting because we didn't know what we were doing. And I was six. That was, uh, that was a little while ago. Just a little while ago. Okay, there you go. All right, well, let's see what you look like in Refresh and uh, figure out where it is you like being pet, and then we really ought to, we really ought to close off this episode just so that we're not having these run too long. Well, no, but again, we've also hardly made any progress. Like, I know I keep harping on that, but we, we should at least finish off Route 1. Okay. Oh, right, I wanted to go with that Pokeball. That's a potion. See, we're almost there, you can hear the music. I think there's another trainer back there, if you want. Okay, we'll do the last trainer, but I don't want... I just don't want this to run too long. N neither do I, but... Ah. Come on, come on. Something new, something new. Like, Grubbin, maybe? Grubbin? Nope, another Ladybug. Ladybug. I'm just gonna run from this. Makes sense. Yeah, I think there's one more trainer back there. If you, uh, if you want. It's kind of interesting how you have that different animation when you're moving through the grass. Well, yeah, it's oh, all grass. yeah, there it is. There he is. You have very long sight lines. All right, kid, what do you want? He wants to battle. His name is Oliver. I feel like battling preschoolers just feels wrong. But he's got a young goose. All right. Uh, Tackle battle. Uh, I'm gonna swap. I just I don't wanna. I'm gonna I'm gonna put Edric back in. I don't wanna have my Pokemon faint. That's true. I don't know if that actually changes anything in this game more than it normally does, but I don't like it when my Pokemon faints. Uh, I think it. Well, that was a good call. It turns out. Um, I think it still is has the same effect it always does. It affects happiness, um, but otherwise not really. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. None of my Pokemon have fainted yet, either. Okay, I will so. say this. This feels more like a Pokemon game. You know, now that we're getting into it and we're going around, we're catching stuff. You know, I, I, I like that. And it's not to say I don't dislike the stuff that we had beforehand, but it was a little cutscene heavy at the beginning. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, the story that it's presenting us with is different. It's certainly interesting. I want to see where it goes. But then again, it took us half an hour to get our starter. Yeah, so 
I don't know. We'll see if the pacing uh, picks up. At, at least it's so far uh, doesn't seem like it's going to have what uh, X and Y had, where you had, like, what, three hours between the first and second gym? I don't know, but the gap is really long. Anyway, All right, let's... So, um... Yeah, so we're sitting at just a little over an hour. So, Oh, it has the journal down there at the bottom. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, well... I think we're going to call it there uh, for episode two, and then we're going to put in a cut, and then we're going to just jump right into episode three. So, until next time, this has been Falconwing. And Shiny Flareon. And until episode three, take care, trainers. See you soon.